Hello and welcome to Arsenal Nation. Today we're at London Colney and we're joined by a very special guest. It's our head coach Unai Emery. Unai, welcome. So today he's going to be talking about the start of the season, what we can expect to see in the coming months and most importantly, he'll be answering some of the questions you guys at home have been sending on socials. So make sure you stay tuned as the gaffer might be answering some of your questions later. Unai, how are you doing? Fine. and. Uh... Uh, thank you for for that uh, that interview. I can I can use uh, through that uh, our media for our supporter and give them my my opinion and all they they want to, to know. Okay, so we are four games into the new season. How do you think? How could you sum up what we've done so far? Yes, we can be happy uh, and also demanding uh, ourselves uh, for for going to improve and and. Uh, and in, in our way, uh, getting better each, uh, each time in each match. And we finished the first uh, four matches with two victories, one draw and one uh, lost. Uh, and, and really, uh, I think there are a lot of positive things uh, to, to be positive uh, and uh, also uh, every time being demanding ourselves for, for to improve uh, tactically, defensively, offensively. But above all, I think uh, the good uh, spirit we, we, are, we are taking, we are, we are having with our supporters also, I think uh, we are with a big motivation, we are a little excited uh, to do our way with them and, and being positive and, and, and uh, enjoying each, each moment uh, to achieve our, our target in the future. So you said there have been some positive moments. What have you seen that's been positive so far? I think positive because also we, we changed some players. Uh, they left some important players, uh, as a, for example, uh, Nacho Monreal, uh, consciously the last moment also, uh, Vikitari and Iwobi. Um, we are uh, getting the young players, giving them chances to, to do one step more with us, uh, getting that performance uh, in our demand way. But uh, really, I think with that young player and also the experienced player we have uh, and some player we, we sign and use some players, I think we are doing one uh, squad uh, very, very uh, important with uh, different uh, characteristics from the, that players and uh, also being very demanding in, 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 in our objective. And on the flip side of that, where do you think we need to improve? First, we need to improve the adaptation for the different players they, they, they came here the last moment and uh, also improve uh, in our way. Uh, for example, uh, I think uh, we, can, we can continue being uh, very offensive uh, with uh, a lot of uh, important offensive players and uh, also uh, taking the balance uh, defensively for, for be strong. And I think uh, the first four matches, for example, we, we show our, our first characteristic is be offensive and, 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 and also maybe uh, we need to, to, to continue working for, for take a balance defensively in one some moment, also tactically some decision. But really the most important is how we can show our support and our energy, our, our spirit and we want to, to win the, each match, but also to, to show to them our, our speed and energy, uh, playing with intensity. And I think uh, I, we are, we are uh, working for, for do that way uh, in, our, in our target, also uh, giving them a, a, a big characteristic for us uh, uh, playing and, and also uh, playing with energy. I think I can notice your energy and passion as well. And um, so it's been a big summer of signings. The fans have been so happy. On a personal note for you, how do you feel the club's done with the new signings that have come in? Every player are very important for me. The new players, the young players, the players where they are with us uh, a lot of uh, time here, last year. And uh, really we need to do the mix with, uh, with everybody and take uh, again a, a new motivation, a new ambition and, and also uh, to create uh, our way with, with them, but above all uh, connecting with, with, with our support and uh, really we can be as, uh, very excited with, with some players, but uh, I want to be excited the same with, uh, with uh, for example, Pepe uh, or Ceballos or David Luiz or Martinelli as uh, we can be with, with uh, Ray Nelson, with Will Locke, uh, with um, Emil Rowe, uh, 
uh, with also the players they, they are working with us, last year, uh, Mesut Ozil, Abou Mbanyan, Lacazette, uh, Hector Pecherin, Robert Holding, uh, Leno, everybody. I think yeah. we can miss and we can be excited with every, every player. Um, so much of the focus has been on our front three, uh, Lacazette, Aubameyang and Pepe. How do you think they've been working together so far and how do we get the best out of them as a trio? Yes, but I, uh, I am a coach, I need uh, to protect every, every player. And uh, for us and for the supporters, uh, can be some player uh, like uh, the focus, uh, maybe, uh, like I said, Mayan, uh, maybe, Mr. Uh, Sil, maybe Pepe, but I want also Riz Nelson, I want also Martinelli, I want also uh, Emilio Smith Rowe, I want uh, also the defense players. I, I know maybe uh, some players they, they, they are more focus, focused for, for our support, but really I want to protect and I want to support every player and we need everybody for for to achieve uh, our our way or achieve uh, our uh, our uh, small objective each each training each matches and after to to think about then for to do this year uh, being uh, excited and uh, uh, being motivated for achieve our, our target. Another player that there's been much excitement around is Matteo Guendouzi. Um, he started in every game for us this season and has now been called up to the French squad since you joined the club last summer. How do you feel he's progressed? Uh, Matteo is, is a very good example for uh, how we can uh, develop on with the young player, with the new young player or uh, the spirit with, with the player we are here now. And he started last, last year at the beginning with uh, some doubt for his adaptation after he came from Lorient, second division in, in, in French, and also he was very young. But really, uh, his ambition, uh, his wish to, to adapt very quickly, and also his quality was uh, a very good surprise for us uh, at the beginning, how he, he started playing, he started training with, with us. After his progress and his development was amazing in the season, but also working with him, some uh, details we needed to, to improve with him, uh, his food, uh, his his also his his body how we can work for get stronger his arm his body his leg and really uh, this year I think he did a uh, 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 one step ahead improving and also giving us one level more in his in his performance and we want continuing with him uh, working each training each match for him for us is a big challenge uh, to to do that that step ahead and really for another player young player or another player his spirit uh, his progress his development is also one good example for Willock uh, for Emilio Smith Rowe for uh, Riz Nelson and really is good, very good example for, for everybody. You just touched on some of the young players there. So some of them have featured in the games we played this season. So Joe Willock, um, Rhys Nelson and Gabriel Martinelli. What are your hopes for them over the season? Last year, for example, uh, we did one step uh, ahead uh, with, uh, with Rhys Nelson. He played in, in Hoffelheim. For his, it was a very good experience. And uh, we, we, we want to confirm this year his development after that, that uh, year uh, away. And with another player, it's the same. Willow, he worked with us, he worked with under 23 here. Uh, he's doing one step uh, ahead in his performance, also taking confidence, taking good rhythm uh, for the Premier League, also uh, taking experience in, uh, in each match. And I think we need uh, to do to give them that, that chances. But after, uh, for us, the most important is, is being very demanding ourselves with the performance. And really, young players, they are adapting very well. And also the experienced players, they are helping them each training, each match, because uh, we have that responsibility. And because we, our, our target uh, was uh, very big and very high level target for, for individually and collectively with them. OK, so moving on to the defenders, how much of a difference will it make when the likes of Hector Bellerin, Rob Holding and Kieran Tierney are back in the squad? Yeah, really, everybody, we, we don't want uh, 
have injured players, but uh, in one season, you know, is they are they are coming, and uh, we need to be uh, prepared for for each uh, different negative issues like that, like that. And last year we we had uh, that two injuries, but uh, really they are very very closer now, Hector Bellin and, and Rob Hogan to play with us, and also I think they are going to 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 help us uh, doing uh, one step uh, in, in our level like a team, one step more ahead with, with them. And also uh, we, we achieve uh, sign uh, Tierney and also he is now with uh, small injuries, but really I think he is coming back uh, for, for the possibility to, to play with us uh, in each game. And really I think uh, we need uh, to be competitive, uh, having different players in different positions and also we are going to play three matches for a week and we need also to use different players but uh, we are very very demanding uh, in uh, to have a very competitive team and also uh, very demanding ourselves individual and collectively to achieve that 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 uh, objective each match and what gives you confidence that we can continue progressing this season and ultimately achieve the goals that we've set each training in each match is giving us a lot of information for how we can improve, how we can uh, progress in, in, uh, in uh, our, our team with the players and with our tactical decision. And really when, when you, you sign different, uh, different players, uh, the first is the adaptation, adaptation, we need to be very quickly and also how we can uh, do that combination with the player, with the decision tactically, how we can be better, how we can do our, our our, uh, our setup every every match, uh, thinking in our best uh, performance, in our in our best quality with with, with the players, and really we're in this way. And uh, we need each training, we need each match for for to take that information. And uh, I want to progress to progress uh, quickly each match, uh, taking a lot of information and using that information for to work uh, after that, that match to improve uh, a little or a big things we need. And for example, against Tottenham, really was a good match, a good game. Uh, that draw not the best for us, but I think we can uh, achieve uh, good uh, good information after that match and using for to improve the next match again again what for in two weeks. Thank you for that, Unai. Guys, now we're going to take a look at the questions you've been sending to us via our social media channels. So first up on Facebook, it's from Matt. What's been your favourite moment at the club so far? Mm, really, for me. Uh, Every every moment is for enjoy, and uh, but if I can choose uh, the best moment, not only one, uh, the best moment here at the, at the moment in uh, like a coach here is each match when we are playing in Emirates with our supporters. The energy then. Energy connection, uh, really uh, being together, feeling their support, uh, also. I think every player and, and me personally also uh, have uh, a good responsibility and also have a, a motivation to connect with them, uh, showing them uh, and doing doing all we can on the pitch uh, for to, to to connect with them and, and I think uh, like that uh, we can achieve better the best result in, in our stadium. So next question comes from Loki. What would you say about our fans' passion during the games and how important is it? I think the football is passion. The football is connecting with uh, our heart and their heart. And uh, I think we need also uh, to play giving them energy after quality, quality, energy, quality, passion, <laughs> quality, uh, and also being clever in, in each decision, but uh, really playing with a passion. and. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I, I, I am from the football in my in my life because I I feel I feel when I was playing uh, when I was coach and today I feel passion for for that. Okay, our next couple of questions are from Twitter. So Sean Guna says, which coaches inspired you to become a coach? I learned with every coaches I had in my career. And for example, uh, one is, is, 
he was coming to Spain, Real Sociedad, John Toshak is uh, from Gales, and really uh, he, tras he transmitted us uh, very deep culture from Ingal in the football in San Sebastian in Real Sociedad. I learned a lot with him, but uh, I learned with a, a lot of coaches and uh, we have very good example uh, with uh, Guardiola, with Simeone, with Luis Enrique, with Georgian Klopp, and, and, and really I, I watched a lot of uh, works, uh, matches uh, from another teams and other coaches, how they can manage each moment, and I learn and I use for, for to improve in me. So next up is a question from Akpomed. He asks, how difficult was it to learn English? And he also thanks you for doing your interviews in English. For me, each press conference, each interview uh, like now is a big challenge for I, how I can uh, transmit, how I can show my, my improve, my development in the, with English. And also, uh, I was uh, speaking each moment with the player, with the coaches, uh, with the the workers in the club and also I are watching the TV, the Netflix series and, uh, and for, for, uh, for, to improve <laughs> and to develop uh, quickly because I really, really have a motivation to, to speak English, uh, getting better each, each, each day and uh, each week. I think the fans can definitely appreciate it, you've improved since last season. So our last couple of questions come from Instagram. Oli Foster says, if you were to manage in any other sport, which would it be and why? I don't know, but uh, I appreciate a lot, uh, first, uh, the individual, uh, individual sport uh, like uh, tennis, but uh, it's very different for, for the football, but the mentality, how each player needs uh, to manage one match in the difficult moment, easy moment, and his mindset he needs to be very, very strong. And after this uh, collective sport, as, as a basketball, uh, as, as a handball, and also how they can, the coaches, uh, manage, f that's tactically different from the football, but similar in different situations. And uh, really, I, I appreciate and I, and I uh, watch it sometimes uh, to achieve some interest, interest, interesting things tactically. And the last question, how long did it take for you to get used to English football and what are your views on the tactical side of the game? I think uh, the Premier League is the, the first uh, and the most important competition uh, domestically in, in the world and difficult in the world. Uh, and really uh, here every match uh, they are very, very tough matches. But uh, above all, when you are playing at home, you can be stronger with your supporter. And away, each match is very difficult because uh, each team uh, can uh, have also their supporter pushing them. And uh, it's not only tactically, it's tactically, physically, mentality. You need here to be very strong and to create a, a, a structure, a strong structure in your team for to, to show each match, uh, that's a characteristic, being strong in your mindset, being strong tactically, being strong and being competitive. Each player is playing at home, playing away, and really is uh, the, big, the big challenge for, for to achieve the, our big result in, in our future. Unai, do you have anything else to add? We are here, <laughs> and uh, through Arsenal Media, we can be closer to you and we can show you, you ca we can transmit you all you need. Thank you, Unai, for joining us. Guys, thank you at home for watching. Now, remember, there'll be plenty more Arsenal Nation specials, so make sure you stay tuned across our social media channels.